WKAR presents Quizbusters. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. By the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And by viewers like you. Now, here's the host of Quizbusters, Matt Ottinger. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, players and friends and everybody. Welcome to Quizbusters. Glad to have you with us. We are in our tournament, and in fact, we're just beginning the white division level of play. This is our first white division matchup we have for you. The Royals of Jackson Christian, the newest team to play Quizbusters with us this season. Huskies of Breckenridge, their opponents. Let's meet them individually right now before we get started. Beginning with the Royals of Jackson Christian, that team is Matt Dubensky, Stephen Bell, Chris Sito, the captain, and Kennedy Wilson. Alternates for the Royals are Zach Schneider and Josh Thomas. The advisor is Joanne Knowlton. And the Huskies from Breckenridge. That team is Rachel Horde, Logan Weyer, Taylor Forbes, the captain, and Zach Horde on the end. The alternate for Breckenridge is Caleb Peters. The advisor is Deb Wozlowski. We introduce everybody because we're going to show you the video about prizes at halftime, and we'll get to that in at the halfway through the game. Right now, we're going to play our quick 10. Our first 10 questions are all toss-ups. Good luck, everybody. Let's get started. The quick 10 begins with question one. What was the name of the nursery rhyme in which the cow jumped over the moon? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Hey, diddle, diddle. Hey, diddle, diddle. That's exactly right. Question two. In what state would you find the historic Alamogordo Air Force Base? Alamogordo, a little bit late, Taylor. Alamogordo is in New Mexico. Question three. What was the number of the Apollo mission that put Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon? Jackson Christian, Chris. Eleven. Eleven. Apollo 11 is right. Question four. Name the novel about Henry Fleming's Civil War bravery written by Stephen Crane. Jackson Christian, Stephen. The Red Badge of Courage. The Red Badge of Courage is right. Question five. Annie, get your gun was a Broadway musical about whom? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. You associate the famous Annie with a gun. That's right. Question six. What do we call a rapidly descending mass of ice and snow loosened from a mountain? Jackson Christian Kennedy. An avalanche. An avalanche is right. Ten points there. Question seven. What state is bordered by Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, and the Gulf of Mexico? Breckenridge Taylor. Louisiana. Louisiana is right for 10. Question 8. What president's likeness appears on the front of a $2 bill? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Thomas Jefferson. That's correct. Question 9. What principality in Western Britain has a capital at Cardiff? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Wales. Wales is right. Question 10. What U.S. territory was known as Seward's Folly. Breckenridge Taylor. Alaska. Alaska is right. That's 10. Good job, players. Seven for Jackson Christian, a couple for Breckenridge. We missed the Alamogordo question, and we play on. Toss-up now leads to a bonus for one of our teams. Here we go, players. This man handed Etienne Brule over as a hostage following his voyage up the Richelieu River that ended in a battle against the Iroquois. What subordinate of the Sour du Monde founded Quebec City in 1608 and gave his name to a Vermont lake? Jackson Christian Kennedy. Champlain. Champlain. Samuel de Champlain. Lake Champlain, of course. And Jackson Christian, you get the first bonus. Chris, answers from you. You talk to your teammates. Methane and ethane are the two simplest examples of a class of organic molecules. First, name that class, all of wh whose members have an A-N-E suffix. Let me guess. Guess, guess. I don't know. It's not normal gases. And I need your answer. Carbon gases. Not carbon gases. No, they're alkanes. A-L-K. A-N-E. Tough first bonus. So we move on to a new toss-up, players. One song by this husband of Kimberly Williams makes fun of men who get Botox and pedicures. Another advises his past self 
and another describes inflatable pools and spring break. Name this West Virginian, whose country hits include I'm Still a Guy, Letter to Me, and Water. Breckenridge Rachel. Kenny Chesney. It's not Kenny Chesney. No, Jackson Christian. You've got a few others to choose from. But if you don't know country music, you're not going to get this one. Brad Paisley is that famous country music entertainer. Uh, new toss-up player, players. The enzyme DICER, D-I-C-E-R, and it's capitalized, acts to initiate this substance's namesake interference pathway. Wobble refers to non-standard base pairing in its T form, such as inosine, to uracil. Name this substance found in viruses and ribosomes. A single-stranded counterpart, uh, Breckenridge Zach. RNA. Of DNA, RNA is the correct answer. Well done, Zach. Figured it out right before I got to the end. Breckenridge bonus to you. In September 2010, one European country finished forming a cabinet there. Excuse me, finished forming a cabinet three and a half months after its 2010 general election. First, name that country where the VVD, PVV, and CDA will all rule together in The Hague. Germany? No, I'm sorry. All of that was buzz, 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 except for The Hague, and The Hague you would associate with Denmark. Excuse me, the Netherlands. Boy, I almost got it wrong. The Hague is associated with the Netherlands. All right, no points on that one. Nobody scored on the bonuses yet, but a lot of people will score on our first pop quiz. Letters are C-A-R, real common combination, lots of possibilities. Let's be careful. C-A-R, Matt from Jackson Christian, Rachel from Breckenridge. To touch or stroke gently and Rachel. Caress. To caress is right. Next. A biologically important class of animal foods used to provide energy needed for growth and other functions. It's there, but you, it's hard to come up with. Carbohydrates is what I needed. Finally, a heavy fabric, often patterned, used especially as a covering for floors and stairs. Rachel. Carpet. Carpet is exactly right. Just that simple. Stefan now, Jackson Christian, Logan Breckenridge. Any person from the north who went south after the Civil War, Stefan. Carpetbagger. Carpetbagger is what I wanted there. Yes. Next. The property of soda water and other soft drinks that causes bubbles to form in the liquid. Stefan. Carbonization. Yes, we'll take that carbon, yeah, carbonization or carbonation. Either one of those are good. That's right. Finally, the study of the heart and its functions in health. Stefan. Cardiology. Nicely done, Stefan. All three of those for you. Uh, captains now. Chris from Jackson Christian Taylor, Breckenridge. A roofed open shelter for an automobile. Taylor. Carport. Carport is the word I wanted. Yes, next. The comedian who died in 2005 and for 30 years was the host and star of The Tonight Show. Parents are feeling very, very old right now. Johnny Carson is his name. Final question. Stiff, specially treated or designed thick paper used in packaging. Chris. Cardboard. Cardboard is the answer I wanted. Yes, exactly. Kennedy now, Jackson Christian, Zach Breckenridge. A horse-drawn vehicle for Kennedy. Carriage. A carriage is right. Next. The two-word term for the non-computerized system of ordered files listing the collection of items. Kennedy. Card catalog. In a library. I thought that would be an antiquated concept, but Kennedy knew it. Final question. Progress through life with respect to one's occupation. Kennedy. Career. Career is that your progress through life with your occupation. Kennedy got all three of those, and that's our quiz. All right, well done, players. We're moving on now. A pop quiz over. We're playing for control of a bonus category. All eight of our players are in for this. This man's painting, Boy with a Pipe, as well as many images of harlequins and circus performers, belong to his rose period. His canvas showing a seated musician holding his head parallel to the ground, the old guitarist, belongs to his blue period. Jackson Christian Kennedy. 
Picasso. Picasso had the rose and the blue period. The Spanish Cubist, I was going to say. Jackson Christian, back to you. Answer these questions about the labors of Heracles. Hercules. First, Heracles temporarily assumed which Titan's burden of holding up the sky so that the Titan could fulfill Heracles' task of obtaining the golden apples of the Hesperides. Atlas. Atlas is right. Heracles' second labor was to kill which Lernian creature that grew two heads for every one he severed. The Hydra. The Hydra is right. Because of Hera's machinations, Heracles was forced to kill which queen of the Amazons whose girdle he had been sent to obtain? Hippolyta. Hippolyta. Hippolyta's girdle is exactly right. You got all three of those in a sweep. That's how to play the bonus category. Well done, Jackson Christian. Back to a new toss up for all of our players. This man claimed that, this is a quote, destroy our farms and grass will grow in the streets of every city in the country, unquote. In an address advocating bimetallism, that was his cross of gold speech. What man, Jackson Christian Kennedy? William Jennings Bryan. William Jennings Bryan did the cross of gold speech, lost the 1896 election, and so on and so on. Jackson Christian, very quickly, back to you. In Genesis 28, a biblical patriarch has a vision in which he sees a ladder that is used as a pathway for angels moving between heaven and earth. First, name that patriarch the son of Isaac, the brother of Esau, and the ancestor of the tribes of Israel. Jacob. Of course. Next. The British Museum houses a watercolor painting of Jacob's Ladder by what poet, whose collection Songs of Innocence and Experience includes the poem The Tiger? Tiger is T Y G E R. Blake. Blake is right, William Blake. The voltage device called a Jacob's Ladder uses air as what kind of insulating material, often put between a capacitor's plates to increase its capacitance? Conductor. Not a conductor, a dielectric insulating material, the, the, the dielectric material. 20 points on that one, though. You've increased your lead to 230. We have come to halftime in our game. And at halftime, at this level of play, it's my great opportunity to remind you that our students are playing for fun. We hope it, anyway, for, for pride and ultimately for prizes. Grand prizes waiting two teams at the end of the season. Dan Bayer will tell you about those right now. QuizBusters is pleased to announce the exciting prizes for our 22nd season championship teams. Students from 64 area high schools are competing for academic excellence with awards provided by the MSU Office of Admissions and the Office of the Provost. Each division championship team will receive four $5,000 tuition scholarship offers to Michigan State University. Contingent on admission to MSU, each scholarship is awarded for the freshman year only and must be used immediately following high school graduation. Students must maintain at least 12 credits per semester. The green and white division champions will then compete for the grand championship with that team eligible for up to five one-year, two-semester scholarships from SBS. This scholarship is for the use of books up to a value of $500 each to be used by team members who are in their first year as MSU students. These terrific championship prizes are offered through the continued generosity and support of the MSU Office of the Provost, the MSU Office of Admissions, and the Student Bookstore. All right, Dan, thank you. As I say at this level, we're, we're a long way from that, of course, just getting started with our tournament action. WKAR.org. You can follow along with our winning teams all the way down to the end of the season. All right, a pop quiz waiting for us. The lightning round, of course, at the end. We're playing for control of our video question. That's up for grabs. First, we've got to get a toss-up answered correctly. Here we go, players. Exceeding a value of one for this quantity occurs when passing through the N-wave or overpressure profile. Its reciprocal defines the sign of the half angle at which the shock wave spreads from a supersonic object. Give this ratio of an object's speed to the speed of sound. That's the mock, the mock number you hear about when referring to the speed of sound. New toss up players. He wrote about the leader of a Baltimore gun club who uses a cannon to go into space in from the 
Jackson Christian Kennedy. Jules Verne. Nicely done. From the Earth to the Moon. And I was going to tell of a lot more familiar stories. Kennedy didn't need any of those. Uh, video bonus for Jackson Christian. Question one on the monitor here. Answer that one correctly. I'll keep the category going for you. Simone Jardim is the MSU women's tennis coach. Tennis is your category. Here's question one. The premier international team event in men's tennis began in 1900 as a challenge between Great Britain and the United States. Today, more than 100 nations participate, with the top 16 assigned to the world group. Name this event, which the United States has only won once in the last 15 years. The Wimbledon? Not Wimbledon. No, Wimbledon is a different uh, tournament, mostly for individuals. It's the Davis Cup. That's team play. Davis Cup is team play. All right, no points on that one. Tough uh, tennis question. We move on to the toss-up players. The Holland Codes are one way of describing this concept, whose features can be categorized by psychologists using the Big Five model. Gordon Allport divided it into central, cardinal, and secondary traits. Name this concept inventoried by the Myers-Briggs test. Jackson Christian Kennedy. Personality. That is correct. Well done on a tough one. And Jackson Christian, back to you for the bonus. Name these animals from the world of opera. First, in Carmen, the handsome Escamillo fights these animals for a living. Bulls. Bulls is right. Giacomo Puccini's Japanese title character, Chocho-san, is nicknamed for what insect? Butterfly. Madame Butterfly is correct. In Wagner's Ring Cycle, the giant Fafner, F-A-F-N-E-R, has been transformed by his greed into one of what kind of creature? Dragon. A dragon. Dragon is right. You swept an opera category. Well done. <laughs> I can tell you, 22 years of doing this, that doesn't happen too often. Very well done on those questions. New toss-up players. This thinker emphasized the five bonds, B-O-N-D, five bonds, which include filial piety. His school of thought, known as Rugia, R-U-J-I-A, led to the imperial examination system. And he also emphasized Jackson Christian Kennedy. Confucius. Confucius is right. He often emphasized the Li. Or ritual, the Analects, the Chinese philosopher, Jackson Christian, right back to you. Two of them, those of Sir Tom, Topas and Melaby, are told by the author himself. First, name this set of poetic tales written in the 14th century. It also features stories told by a prioress, a miller, a manciple, and a knight. The Canterbury Tales? That's right. The Canterbury Tales were written by what author of the Book of the Duchess? Chaucer. Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer. Chaucer is right. The tale of what woman, whose real name is Allison, features a knight in King Arthur's court who must answer the question of what women truly want? The wife of Bath. The wife of Bath, yes. The wife of Bath? That's correct. The wife of Bath. The wife of Bath's tale. You guys are cleaning up right now. Second pop quiz, some one-on-one -on -one action. They're blitzing these bonuses, but we stop for our pop quiz. One-on-one -on -one action once again. Four letters this time around. C-O-M-P. We'll begin all correct responses. C-O-M-P. Matt from Jackson Christian. Rachel from Breckenridge. Get us started. A method of reaching agreement in a dispute. But Rachel. Compromise. And I, well done. Rachel, fast on that buzzer. Matt had it too. Just right at the same second there. Next. To understand... Or Matt. Comprehend. Nicely done to per perceive the meaning of something. Finally, difficult to understand because of its many aspects. You're going to hate yourselves. It's complex or even complicated. Sometimes the easier words are the tougher ones to come up with under pressure. Stefan, Jackson Christian, Logan, Breckenridge. An appliance that crushes Logan. Compressor. No, I'm sorry, that's not what I'm looking for, Stefan. An appliance that crushes trash into small, convenient bundles. Trash compactor? Compactor is the word that I wanted. Yes, next. A financial payment given or received as an equivalent for services performed. When you do something, you receive compensation. Final question. An instrument for determining direction uh, Stefan. Compass. A compass on the Earth's surface, of course. Captains now Chris, Jackson Christian, Taylor Breckenridge. The natural color T 
texture and appearance of the skin, especially the... Chris is first. Complexion. Complexion is right. Next. In ice skating, the exercises which are required to be performed in a competition. Those are the compulsories. And finally, the company which was one of the early providers of internet service in the United States. I'm not sure that they're even in business anymore. If they are, they're much smaller than they once were. Or CompuServe is what I was looking for there. Kennedy from Jackson Christian, Zach from Breckenridge. To express dissatisfaction. Kennedy. Complain. To complain is right. Next, in geometry, any two angles whose sum, Kennedy. Complementary. Are 90 degrees, that's correct. And finally, any small car. Kennedy. Compact. A compact car. Kennedy took all three once again. Six for Kennedy in the pop quizzes. Jackson Christian over 400. All right, last few toss-up questions, last few bonuses, then we'll play the lightning round, players. We're all back in for this. In 1999, this lawyer was nominated to the D.C. Appeals Court, but was not confirmed due to Orrin Hatch failing to schedule hearings. She served 14 months as Solicitor General after a stint as Dean of the Harvard Law School. Name this newest member of the Supreme Court. Jackson Christian, Chris. Kagan. Kagan, Elena Kagan. You came up with it. That's a tricky one, current events, but she's certainly been in the news. Jackson Christian, back to you. Give these mathematical functions. First, this sinusoidal, soidal, sinusoidal function is given by the adjacent side length over the hypotenuse for an acute angle in a right triangle. Cosine. Cosine. Cosine is right. This function, acting on a product of two numbers, gives the sum of the function acting separately on each number. Its most common bases are 2, 10, and E. The Barsoon property. No, the logarithm. <laughs> apparently an inside joke there. The logarithm. Logarithm what I wanted that time. Ten more points on your bonus. New toss-up, players. This Russian leader approved the Treaty of Plusa, P-L-U-S-S-A, ending the Livonian War and formed the Aprichniki. The Khanates of Kazan and Astrakhan were conquered during the reign of this long-ruling monarch who succeeded Vasily III in 1533. Name this terrible Breckenridge Taylor. Ivan. Ivan the terrible. I said I, I don't. I can. I can take just Ivan if I'd said terrible, and Taylor was right on top of it there. Bonus to Breckenridge. Answer the following about Robert Kennedy's civil rights record. First, Kennedy is credited with preventing riots in Indianapolis due to a speech he gave on April 4, 1968, where he informed the crowd of the assassination of what civil rights leader? Martin Luther King. That's the one. That's absolutely right. Early in 1968, just before declaring his intent to run for president, Robert Kennedy visited what Mexican-American labor leader who was in the middle of a hunger strike? Chavez. Chavez is right. Cesar Chavez. Finally, as a senator, Kennedy spearheaded a public-private redevelopment partnership in Bedford-Stuyvesant a poor neighborhood in what New York borough? Brooklyn. Right. 20 points. You got them all. Good job. <laughs> you take your victories where you can find them. That was very, very well done. Obviously, the game has belonged to Jackson Christian. We're going to play our last 60 seconds, the lightning round. A few more chances for all eight of our players to get a few more right answers in. 60 seconds on the lightning round clock. The lightning round begins now. In Greek mythology, how many muses were there? Chris. Nine. Right. What is the capital of Wyoming? Chris. Cheyenne. Right. What war between France and England lasted from 1337? Uh, Taylor. Ten-year war. Wrong. Give me the, clear that next question. Give me the four-letter name of the Netherlands town where a famous red-encrusted cheese is produced. Time. What nickname is given to the annual awards presented by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Kennedy? Oscars. Right. 
According to a saying attributed to Napoleon, an army marches on its what? Kennedy. Stomach. Right. What three South American countries made up the ABC powers? Kennedy. Argentina, Brazil, and Colombia. Wrong. Who defeated the British at the Battle of New Orleans? Chris. Jackson. Right. What was the nickname of 20th century mobster Charles Luciano? Kennedy. Lucky Luciano. Right. What Italian city's name means city time is up. Jackson Christian, almost to 500. Congratulations. Argentina and Brazil have to be right, so if it's not Colombia, it's Chile. That's the ABC power, power that we missed, but everything else, very well done. A Edam, E-D-A-M, is the cheese, is the town in the Netherlands, the Hundred Years' War. Taylor, you knew what you were talking about, but you said it wrong. You said 10. Breckenridge, unfortunately, is th this didn't work out well. They're so fast in the buzzer, they took the bonuses. We're glad you came back and played the second game with us and, and had a chance to get a few right answers. Uh, good luck in your future academic pursuits. Jackson Christian, congratulations. About the score you had in the first round, as a matter of fact, another Another good performance out of you. You move one step down the line now. Uh, we'll see you in further tournament action later in our season. We go back to uh, Green Division action. A very tight matchup as far as our seeds are concerned. Vikings of Everett, Panthers of Alma. Could be a really good game. Thank you for watching this program and for all of us on Quizbusters. I'm Matt Ottinger. Enjoy. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. By the Michigan Education Association and its 160,000 members, advocating for a world-class public education that ensures a bright future for Michigan students and economy. Online at mea.org. And by viewers like you. Book Scholarship Awards are provided by SBS, the Student Bookstore, located at 421 East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. Become a QuizBusters fan at Facebook.com. For more information about QuizBusters or any of WKAR's locally produced series or specials, visit our website, WKAR.org.